I rise in deep anguish to praise and record the way this August house is being subjected to sacrilege and that too propelled by a sense of competition among some sections of the house since the commencement of this monsoon session. Everything said or done, violating, hurting or destroying this sacredness of any place amounts to an act of sacrilege. We are a land of temples, churches, mosques and gurudwaras. These are holy places with demarcated sac sacred areas which are known as sanctum sanctorium. The parliament, the apex legislature of our country, is regarded as the temple of democracy. The table area where the officers and supporters of the reporters of the house, the secretary general and the presiding officer are seated is considered as the holy sanctum sanctorium of the house. A certain degree of sacredness is attached to this place. In our temples, devotees are allowed only up to this sanctum sanctorium and not beyond. Entering this sanctum sanctorium of the house in itself is an act of sacrilege. It has been happening as a routine for some time. I am distressed by the way this sacredness was destroyed yesterday. When some members sat on the table, some others climbed on the table of the house, perhaps to be more visible in such acts of sacrilege. I have no words to convey my anguish and to condemn such acts. As I spent a sleepless night, struggled to find out the provocation or reason for forcing this August house to hit such a low yesterday. A discussion on agriculture problems and solutions for the listed. There can be difference of opinion and there can be a specific demand from anybody. They could have discussed it in the house, protested and voted against that. This thing and you, you have got every right, members have got every right to demand for it, withdrawal also. But it is for the government to act. You can't force the government to do this or not to do this. Different kinds are admitted by chair, language were used by the list of business is drafted in such a way that it is acceptable to all sections of the house without uh, denting the thrust of the issue to be discussed. It happened yesterday too, and the chair has been doing it for a year. I find it difficult to understand as to why. The subject was listed in the list of business for yesterday would have prevented any member to raise any issue concerning the farm sector, including three farm bills that some members were keen to raise in the house and even demanding their withdrawal. Yesterday was a golden opportunity for the concerned members to have gone on record with their positions on all issues relating to the right of the armors. But it was not to the... We see, please, please have the decency at least that the chair is saying something at least to hear it. You may, you may not agree that's a different matter. Hmm. The positions on all issues to the right of farmers, but it was not to be as the sole intention seems to be not.